I'll try to get a lead though. Prowler's Ghost, Lethality. We got what we need to win this game. That's weird, I couldn't see the circle on his first barrel in the bush there. Like, after I walked into the bush. I think that was a visual bug. me. I'm going to just try to go for a callback. Nidalee's going to be topside soon here. It'll be good to just get out of the gank. Oh, no. Really? I should have autoed it, dude. Level 1 Q is so weak. Shouldn't be able to push. I'm too scared of a Nidalee gank. 100% she's topside. Why is Ergot's move speed so slow with so many legs? Yeah, the world may never know. I guess in the lore he does weigh like 13,000 tons or something, I think. It'd be really nice if they just gave us like a five movement speed buff though. I can freeze this. We can maybe ghost him down. Ooh, get sidestep by him. I need these minions off me, though. My god, dude. He's literally just on a D shield. Our item advantage doesn't really mean that much. Maybe Lee Sin can do something here. Gangplank still has flash though, doesn't he? I'm pretty sure. If he can slow him down a little bit, I could maybe do something. Wow, nice. Dude, I can't believe that works out. I actually can't believe that play works out. He's gonna TP back. So good if that pushes in though. If you hide in the shadows, you are I had to be really careful with my mana there. If we used our E, we couldn't have queued. Oh dang, he actually pulled the wave out a little bit. It's a really nice buy for me. Wave's honestly pretty good. It's only mages, so it's not really going to freeze. It's pretty solid. 
Nice. Poppy support, interesting. Poppy W is pretty good. It's okay this game against Nidalee Fizz. I'm not seeing Nidalee in a while, so I want to be really careful here. If I play up, I feel like she could just be waiting for a gank. This is like the worst time to die as a top lane when you have a big wave shoving in. Jungles love to do that when like you're just getting back to lane and there's a big wave. If you push up a little bit too much, they'll just be waiting sometimes. Gonna wait until I have Giz to really do anything here. I guess mid could be roaming. It's a fizz too. It's a really good chance he's roaming here. Dang, I want to go for a kill there. Oh, he's roaming bot lane. Even though I'm missing those CFs, I'm healing up with Cole at least a little bit. It's unfortunate that it didn't work out a little bit better there, but at least we're getting decent heals. Using a lot of mana in these keys, though. I need to chill with that. Ah, oh, Nidalee's gonna kill me. Maybe. We got Ghost. Nice, Ghost coming in clutch. You're gonna have to stay here though, dude. Little Shelly. I hope they can't dive him. I don't think they can. They're pretty chunks. A big tip that I can give for sidestepping is you want to be, you want to know what your enemy's doing, like before they do it. You want to be anticipating. And also, you want to click closer to your character. You don't want to be going like really far out like this. You want to be doing close to your character. It's another thing to keep in mind. It's hard on Ergot though, man. I still mess it up a lot. Like, sometimes on Ergot, you just can't sidestep as well, sadly. It's actually crazy, dude. When I play a champion, like, a, I mean, I guess K Santi's a little bit bulky. When I play other champions besides Ergot, though, like, I can... I, it's so much easier to sidestep. It's insane. It's one of those things where it's actually a, a pretty big downside for Ergot. It doesn't seem like it'd be a massive downside, but you can really decide the lane sometimes. You just can't sidestep that one key ability. Oh man. You can just space me out so easy right now. Again, I don't know where Nidalee is right now. Let's just play for level 9. Level 9 plus Ghost. This Gangplank is really good. He's definitely a smurf account.
That feels pretty similar to the getting planks on my men. Nice, that's good. Can maybe wither him down for an E flash. He just used his fruit. Yeah, once he used that fruit, I'm going all in with the flash. That was a greedy fruit by him. Dude, every time I compliment somebody on like how they're playing, I swear that always happens. They do something really stupid. Like they'll be playing the lane really good and I'll point it out and then they do something stupid. Don't know why that happens every time. I can win this. Yeah, we got two levels on the Fizz. It was a little bit close there, so I just popped my ghost to try to get more shotguns off. Just to guarantee the kill. Oh, my cannon. Wait, Gangplank going mid, what the heck? Start praising everyone at the beginning of the game. I don't think it'll work if I do that. It's gotta be like genuine. It's gotta be like a genuine caster curse. It's like when you guys talk about a champion when I'm in champ select and then we end up, the, the enemy team ends up picking it. Like for some reason that happens a lot too. So, sometimes there'll be like a really random champion that I haven't played against in like a month. And somebody will be like asking about the matchup or just like, just talking about it. And then all of a sudden the enemy team picks it. Yeah, speaking it into existence. Somehow happens a lot, dude. I don't know why. Kind of wondering if we could just fight mid here. I don't know if they have a ward in here. Yeah, we definitely need a Prowlers this game. It's really hard to run at their champs. They're very long range. This is where it's so nice to have the grinder though. Also, massive shutdown, holy. Sweet. Can we kill this guy? Triforce pickaxe. I got no sums, so it's, yeah, no sums, no grinder. I don't think we can. Okay, we played around his barrels so nicely there. Against Gangplank, I tried to, uh, so you want to do the W toggle, like the three W auto attack, but I used my auto attack on his barrel. If my W can't get his barrel. So the thing about Urgot W, it has really low priority into GP barrel. So there has to be nothing else nearby for your W to target it. If there's like a minion or a champion, your W is going to lock onto that rather than the barrel. So you want to use your auto attack in the toggle to just kill the barrel. Looks like Nidalee's coming up here. Let's get out. I want to cash in my call, but we're going to be one off again. It's another thing that happens every time. This is the only truth that matters. A weapon aimed at 
the way that Cole's designed, I think it's designed to like always or like have a good chance of being at one CS. This happens so often. That guy hurts. Mm, okay, my team is going all in on a fizz. This is going to be sketchy, but we get 13 here. I think I can win this. To go for the ghost flank, maybe. Double kill. Dude, I'm loving the one v ones this game. So satisfying. It's gonna get so nice once we get prowlers. We can just take him out instantly. The Ghost is feeling really nice, dude. I've had some really good games with Ghost recently. I've been running it versus these, like, really heavy range team comps, but... Man, it feels so good in the 1v1s. It's like a free kill every time. I'd rather have my Cole over a Longsword right now. It's only minus 3 AD difference. We get a bit of heals. I'm kind of worried about team fights this game though if I don't have Ghost. Four range with a Varus and a Zerath. I feel like I'm just going to get kited to death. Uh, is our Silas AFK? He was raging at somebody and then he's like AFK now. Please, not another AFK, dude. I've been having so many of them. Okay, get his back. He came back and he's just all inning already. I guess it works out, though. Wait, can you even do that to Shelly? I don't know if you can knock it away with Poppy LT. I don't think you can. Oh my god, that would have been a snipe. Let's not give a massive shutdown right now. That's a good Zerath, dude. He's doing the ulti so fast. Oh, she can't knock the Shelly away? Okay. So her ulti just missed then, right? Yeah, I couldn't really tell there. It did kind of look like a miss. That's why I was kind of confused. Okay, we're like, we're in a good spot right now, but we're kind of losing pressure on the map. This is feeling like, this is feeling a lot like last game. 
Last game we were winning so much in score, but our macro is so bad, and they just ended up like slowly taking over the map and they ended up winning when we had an 8k gold lead. I hope it's not a repeat of that. Hoping we can teamfight at Drake though. I'll have both sums up. Silas has teleport. Should be good. My team is really far away, so we sadly can't split bot right now. Because most likely they're going to be prepping drag. Actually, it doesn't really seem like they are prepping. Just trying to get the mid push. We could drag into Baron, maybe. They got no jungle. Dude, I'm in such a bad spot. Can I just recall here? Oh my god, he's running back in. Trying to kill the poppy, I guess. I wonder if Zerath flashed right there when the Lee Sin flashed. It seems like that Zerath just randomly covered so much distance. I feel like he probably did. It was just out of my camera range. Alright, core build is done. We got our stair axe. That's such a classic fizz play, dude. Just waiting at the bush at red buff for the ADC. So classic. I don't think we need to be this scared, guys. I mean, we don't have to, like, force the fight, but we should try to, like, see if they get out of position. Oh my god, nice. My damage is feeling so, so insane, man. They have zero armor. Lethality feels so good. They literally don't have a single armor item. I still got my Prowlers active, too. Sure, it would be really good. It's fine, we got the red buff heals. I'm gonna probably buy another lethality item. I feel like Edge of Night would be really good this game. We can block out the Varus ulti, the Xerath E, Nidalee Spear. Lethality plus HP, I think this is a great buy.
Hey, welcome in, Diego. Hope you're doing good, man. Uh oh, they could try to Baron. Dude, my Prowlers almost went off. Let's try to get mid here if we can. So nice. The most important thing right now is that we just don't die. I think we actually don't have that much of a gold lead because they don't have objective bounties. It's actually kind of weird since we got triple drag. Oh, a little too slow on that. I think we should try to end against the Zerath. That's too good wave clear. Dang, the team is not listening. Baron is such a good call there. So sometimes you have to adapt to your teammates. How are the games today? They've been all right. We, uh, we're coming off a really bad loss on our last game. We had almost 9k gold lead and we ended up losing. It was just like a classic solo queue, just like throw after throw. So I think we're 1-3 and three today, which is a little bit rough, but we've played okay in the losses, I guess. Wait, what? I thought he was trying to start the Baron. Yeah, this game is going really good. We still haven't died yet. I feel like I probably could be playing a little bit more aggressive, but again, I am a little bit scared to throw the shutdown. The game feels pretty close because of their Zerath. They're not trying to do that, are they? I am stronger than man, stronger than machine. I am an idea. I think next item will go Force of Nature. That sounds really good. Most of their damage is magic. And then we also get more movement speed from that. Oh yeah, I haven't tried Wild Rift out yet. It looks pretty well made though. I heard Urgot wasn't in Wild Rift, sadly, though. Yeah, let's try to go for rotation here. We got bot lane pushing. 
Gangplank does have teleport. Wait, dude, don't recall. Please. Man, nobody listens. Now this guy's gonna start the Baron when we got no jungle. Oh, they recently added a Trox. Maybe they'll add Ergot eventually then. Wild Rift is still pretty new. Oh, they should be a good fight. We got a good angle. Oh, my Prowlers didn't follow. Got nowhere to go. Dude, the thing that's nice about Ghost, it makes it so much easier to sidestep, too. The main thing on my mind there is just sidestepping the Xerath E. Nice. Good game, dude. 